Oh, do you see how life comes around? Alfred Telefero, Mr. Telefero TV. My website drops March 1st for those who don't know. It's MrT.com. And we are talking basketball. I've been on the roll. I told y'all I would pick up basketball closer to the All-Star break. And we're going to keep this rolling. Over the last couple of days, we've seen two very popular basketball players. They actually were former teammates. And they are um, uh, actually have won championships together. They're best friends on and off the court. LeBron James and Dwayne Wade. In the last week, we've seen LeBron James as frustrated as we have seen him in his career, period. And his frustration stems from simply not believing that the Cavs organization has gotten him enough help around him as they go for a two-peat and they understand what they're dealing with in Golden State. It won't be easy. With that being said, we've heard LeBron come out. He The other night in a press conference, he said, literally said, it's just me, Kyrie, and Kevin Love out there knocking Tristan Thompson of the world, knocking Iman Chomper and everybody else on the, in the rotation. And I actually think Channing Fry has contributed to this team tremendously off the bench in spurts. But, I mean, it was a direct shot at everybody else outside of Kyrie and Kevin Love. It was a shot, to be honest with you. And with that being said, on the other side, in Chicago, we have Dwayne Wade who called out his teammates after last night's loss. He was like, look, man, y'all got to care about losing. When you're losing, you just cannot be satisfied with that. And D. Wade's having an above-average season for his standards. He he put up 33 last night. Um, as Jimmy Butler, I believe, went for 42. And they still lost. The Bulls still lost to the Hawks. And, and Wade's like, we just people got to care more about this game. People's got. He's like, I'm 35 years old. I shouldn't be the guy that's caring more about these losses more than these young bucks who ain't proved nothing in the league yet. D-Wade's like, I'm a three-time champion. LeBron's a three-time champion. And this is when you realize that LeBron James and D-Wade miss each other. They miss each other, people. It is the reality of the situation. They miss each other. They miss each other's company. You want to know why? Despite Dwayne Wade not being in season about the game of basketball, as LeBron was during their Miami Heat days, and I felt like if LeBron, if D-Wade was in the health that he was now, LeBron would have never left Miami. D-Wade was still a dedicated dude to the game of basketball, and LeBron, of course, is to me the most dedicated thing we've think the most dedicated athlete we've ever seen. Period. To health, and, and him and Adrian Peterson go tit for tat with me. And with that being said, they miss each other. They miss the dedication that these two gave the life of basketball. They miss how LeBron and D-Wade, neither one of those guys are club guys. These are be with the wife, play with the kids type guys. They're not club guys. They're not into that life. A lot of people around their age are still in the clubs in the NBA. Still in these clubs. That's not LeBron and D-Wade. In their offseason, they're boring. I follow D-Wade on Snapchat. It's boring. But you want to know why it's boring? Because his life is so focused. He's in the gym every day. He's, he's working out two, three times a day. Their life is focused on their career and, and, and making sure their legacy is, is, is there forever. Make sure it's planted. It, you know, it, there's nothing you can do to, to, to get rid of their legacy. That's what they're working on at this point. It's all about championships. And LeBron's looking around at this team. And LeBron, let's be clear. The, the Cavs are still poised to make another NBA Finals appearance. They're still the favorites in the Eastern Conference, number one in the Eastern Conference. Still three games up on Toronto. And um, LeBron believes he can beat Kevin Durant and the Golden State Warriors in the Finals. Let's make that clear. D. Wade, on the other hand, the Chicago Bulls are, are number eight right now, I believe, in the Eastern Conference. But they're battling with nine and ten and... and we believe Milwaukee can get rolling. Philadelphia's rolling right now. And um, Chicago might make, not, might make the playoffs. And I know that's going to hurt D-Wade and, and everything going on. But you see it, guys. LeBron and D-Wade miss each other. They miss the seriousness the game of basketball gave each other. They miss the passion, the love for the game. And let me make this clear. That love for the game ain't in a lot of these cats. Let's be honest. If I'm a be- a veteran, like uh, who's who's a guy I can who I can name? Ray Allen. Ray Allen has been thinking about coming out of retirement, right? Well, if you go back and see the teams that Ray Allen considered, considered, he only considered 
the contenders. He only considered San Antonio, Golden State, the Clippers, outside looking in contender, and that's because of Doc Rivers, and Cleveland. That's the only team he was considering. He wasn't going anywhere else. You want to know why that's the case? Because these veterans who are really serious about winning championships and a guy as great as a Ray Allen, who I believe is retired now, he's done. I don't think he hasn't announced it, but I believe he's done. Um, these guys don't believe these young cats take this game serious. They're too in love with this money. They're too in love with this fame more than the money, I believe. And they're too busy hosting parties. Take not taking the game of basketball as serious as a LeBron James or a D Wade. So you, that's why you see all these veterans, the James Joneses of the world. That's why you see the David Westers of the world. Um, you see them want to get around NBA contenders. You see the most spates go from the Golden State Warriors straight to the Clippers. And there's only so many teams right now that people are go to, and it's like four or five teams. The only teams that people. Players who really want to win are ser seriously considering going to because every other team in the NBA, there's a few guys on all of these rosters, not saying everybody, because I do believe in Isaiah Thomas wants to win a championship. I do believe in Russell Westbrook wants to win a championship. I do believe a Damian Lillard of the world wants to win a championship. But there's so many guys in this association who just don't want it bad enough. Just don't want it bad enough. And LeBron and D-Wade, and, and you could tell if they could do this thing over again, if, if, if there was some way LeBron can get D-Wade to come to Cleveland, he would have did that. Because they both miss each other, and they just miss people who took the game of basketball as serious as they do. I go by the name of Alfred Teleferro. Thank you for the time, love, and support. I don't take it for granted. Again, my website re relaunches March 1st. I'm going to keep playing that day in your head. March 1st. Follow me on um, SoundCloud. Make sure you check me out on iTunes. We're getting out your Twitch stream available. And, of course, subscribe to my YouTube as you're on right now. Thank you for the time, love, and support. Salute. Say it with me. I'm out. If you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone, if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, make sure you hit me up at booking at Again, that's booking at it's